that's Rusty. She was found in Sanderson. This is Spotnik. There's a dog named Spot by this Russian guy that we've rescued. And then Cracker. <clears throat> so who is this? This is the screws. Drink till I drop. It was a band I was in. One of the bands I was in. Toxic shock, uh, briefly in Scratch Acid, The Cry Babies, Criminal Crew. We didn't take ourselves seriously at all, but we were also very confrontational with the, with the crowd, so it was a lot of fun messing with people. Just screw with them and try to get them angry at us. You know, I wanted to be different. I wanted to stand out, and well, I guess I did. <laughs> brand new. I mean, no one had ever done punk rock before until, you know, late 70s, early 80s, and we were right in the middle of it. I was going to the University of Texas and going to see bands and playing in bands and whatnot. And it was just so much fun. It's a great beer for breakfast. The Germans traditionally would drink this late morning with some Weisswurst, usually like after church on Sundays or something, and a big old tall glass of Hefeweizen. It's kind of got a tartness to it, almost like a, a fruit drink in a way that goes, I think goes really well in the morning, especially with uh, breakfast foods. Well, I was a bud guy for years. We only had like a handful of major breweries making pretty much the same kind of beer all the time. And just like with the music, like with punk rock, we felt disenfranchised. In my generation, we were exposed to some of the imports, obviously, and a lot of people I know cut their teeth on Sam Adams as the first, you know, American craft beer. And that kind of just opened our eyes and like, wow, we can do that here too. What we see now is, is young people who are far more willing to be experimental and try something new and get really excited about things that are local and, and homegrown and are far more interested in because they want to support something that is not a big corporation. Making beer is always a challenge, and uh, building a market, which is something I didn't want to do in punk rock. I didn't want to be on tour. I didn't want to be, you know, a professional musician. I just wanted to be in a garage band and have fun. We had a hell of a lot of fun making noise, and. Uh, I'd have a hell of a lot of fun making beer. I love it. No better career 